Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, March the 7th, the day of the big interview here in the U.S. Um, let's go ahead and try to get a few more videos out for you. Megan's connections were actually provided by Oprah, so they weren't her friends after all. How about that? Full disclaimer can be found in the description below. I follow the fair use, fair dealing guidelines, and this is for entertainment only. Let's get right into it. And um, let's see, going right up here. And I would like to thank one of my viewers, Pammy, for sending this to me. The Daily Mail says, any friend of yours, Oprah, the most uncanny connections between the TV queen and the duchess who just happened to be sharing the world stage. Let's look at some of these connections real quick. You've got um, Katy Perry and Alendo Alen Bloom, Gail King, of course, her best uh, gal pal. Misha Nunu, uh, one of the uh, designers, was actually a friend of Oprah's. And so was uh, Serena Williams. She actually mentored her. So a fr another friend of hers was Sarah Latham that she used. Hillary Clinton. And who do we have on this side? Well, there we have the Clooney's. And that's a picture of them when they attended their wedding. David Foster. We know that she went to school with David's uh, fifth wife, Catherine McPhee. And who else do we have? Melinda Gates, you know, Bill uh, Gates, who is big in the um, New World Order and coming up with the vaccine and has all these uh, different types of uh, views on what we should be doing in our types of farming. Tyler Perry, he's the one who provided the plane for them to leave from Vancouver and allowed them to stay in his L.A. home while he lives in his Atlanta, Georgia. And, of course, the Obamas. She's good friends with uh, Barack and Michelle. And then Daniel Martin, who did Megan's makeup, especially for the uh, final engagements last March. So let's go ahead and get into the story. Oprah Winfrey set about wooing Megan since she first stepped into the limelight. She always wanted to get a uh, interview with Lady Diana, but um, that didn't work out for her. Acts of courtship, such as gifts and mentorship, show the links between them. What is less obvious is the friends and staffer that were drawn, actually, from Oprah's orbit. So she found these people uh, via Oprah. Since Megan first stepped into the royal limelight, Oprah Winfrey has determinedly set about wooing her from doing yoga with Megan's mom, Doria, to providing gifts, flattery, and mentorship, not to mention a powerful plug for her brand of oat milk lattes on her um, Instagram page. But while these acts of courtship show a clear link between Oprah and Meghan, what has less been less obvious is the extraordinary way in which so many of Meghan's friends and staffers are drawn from the orbit of Oprah, also known as the Queen of All Media. Prince Harry and Meghan have drawn a father figure, a charity executive, a PR, and several celebrity mentors from Oprah's circle of friends. On a more practical level, friends of Oprah, age 67, have loaned them two mega mansions. So David Foster was the one that found the Vancouver mansion of, uh, and arranged for them to be able to stay there when they were sent away by the um, Queen after the October failure of the Australian tour. Um, they'd gotten in some trouble from things that had happened, and she told them to take a little break. And that's when they went to go spend Thanksgiving in Vancouver and ended up staying there until they uh, decided to return for their final engagements in uh, March. And then by the end of that month, they were already into the USA with a plane provided by Tyler Perry. So it says, is it just a coincidence? Maybe, but the links are numerous and deep. I didn't realize all of those people were coming from Oprah. I thought it was just people that she had met. Well, I kind of thought Tyler was. For instance, Megan's uh, pet author, who wrote the couple's biography, <laughs> finding, I, I, that's funny, I'm sorry, the pet author, who wrote the couple's uh, biography, Finding Freedom, is a royal co correspondent on Oprah's um, eponymous <laughs> magazine. Well, I, I don't think the magazine's around anymore, but I didn't realize he was a contributor to that. So I'm sure she put him you know, right there in front of her, and he was doing her bidding, and we know that uh, allegedly on the payroll. 
Her favored makeup artist, Daniel Martin, has been profiled in Oprah's magazine as well. And remember, he's one of the ones that have come out and spoke about how wonderful she is, how she's opened up his eyes to, you know, uh, everything that she's had to uh, endure and that he should get involved in charity. And Megan's good pal, Kaylee Thomas Morgan, is a publicist who represented Oprah's close friend, Tyler Perry. Didn't know that. A link which perhaps solves the riddle of Harry and Meghan's rent-free stay in, in Perry's L.A. mansion last year. And this is the last thing. I'm going to keep these a little bit shorter because I've kind of got different topics. So People Magazine is about to do an article on them and, it, and uh, really, and of course we know they're going to put them in the uh, victim role. But it says, uh, Royals, Meghan Markle, and Prince Harry's exit from royal life. A complete timeline of Mexit. Well, I think we know what that timeline is and what it entails. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Did you all know that all of these people were uh, put in front of Meghan via um, Oprah? I didn't realize some of them were. But uh, very, very curious. And then those people um, like uh, Clooney and James Corden, and he wasn't shown on here, but he's another one. And then, of course, they were in with Weight Watchers together, James Corden and Oprah Winfrey. And then even the Duchess of York, um, Sarah Ferguson, was one of the spokespeople for um, Weight Watchers. Anyway, I'll be back with you for a few more videos uh, gearing up for the big event uh, happening later on tonight. And I'll be back with you. See you in the next video.